Hello everyone and welcome to Xamarin Forms tutorial videos. In this video we are going to talk about the data binding. So what is data binding? In data binding there is a target and there is a source. Target needs data and source is producing that data. So the connection between target and source is called binding. So source is an object which have the data and it contains a value and target is an object which needs the data to either display or perform some sort of calculation. So as an example, if we look at the app on the screen, we have a slider object here. So now when I change the slider value, so I can see the box view and the text box are changing its properties. Uh, the view box has uh, its width, height is changing and text is, the rotation is changing. So there is a connection between this slider and those objects. So that is the binding and that's what we achieve with the data binding. So before we start the coding, uh, let's understand what are the impor important factors in uh, data binding. Binding context um, is something which we need to understand. Binding context is a property on uh, the target object which connects these two objects. So like we saw in the previous example, slider was received, changing the value and text box was changing its property. That is the binding context. So let's dive into code. Uh, I have I'm on Mac, so I have opened a Visual Studio Community 2019. And if folks are watching the old videos, you will see the previously we a few years back we also did coding in Xamarin Studio. So Visual Studio was actually you know contains all of things from Xamarin Studio, also the both products are combined now. So we make a new solution. Since we are uh, making Xamarin Forms, so you will select from multi-platform app and we are going to go with the blank form app. I will give it a name, learning data binding. Um, you have options to use the shared library or uh, the .NET standard. I will go with the defaults and start the project. We have seen in the previous videos also, uh, you get the benefit of using the Xamarin is you get the boilerplate code to develop the application from Android and iOS, but you don't have to code twice in both platforms. So this is the file main.xaml where we'll actually code and a lot of new features in uh, Visual Studio. You can also click on preview and split. So now in XAML, uh, you can write the code and you can actually see the designer view which was uh, a long awaited feature in Visual Studio and uh, was demanded by uh, the mobile development uh, community to make the designs look more pretty and uh, cool. Okay, so by default we get main page dot XAML with a stack layout and content page and a, and a label. So let's discuss about view to view bind binding. So let's continue uh, making changes to XAML page and adding more objects to experiment how the data binding works. First of all, let's make this page a little pretty. Uh, I'm gonna add a frame. So now let's add two objects, make one of them source and one of them target. 
so now we got two objects on screen let's run it and uh, check it once we have a slider object and we have the box view object now let's connect them together so another important thing when we are doing uh, the binding between two object is that from the source we need to define the binding context binding context is the property uh, which tells the source object that what is my target object the entire object now at that time it's not talking about where I'm going to read uh, what property I'm going to use as to set binding uh, it is defining the the target object and then we define the property also that what property we are going to read to you know do complete that binding we will see that action in the demo so as slider is the source now we are going to add the properties in the target to do that connection the first very important property is the binding context binding con context defines what is the source object so now our source object is slider and the name of is source so now the next we need to connect the property uh, that what property will receive the data from the source property so we want to receive this height request 50 this 50 should be actually coming from the slider and we can define the maximum value here 100 so as the slider change we want this height request value to be changed and to do that now we will let's bring it to a new line first and we define the binding so you start with the binding property and now we need to define the path and what value we are going to read the value which we are going to read from the slider is actually the value because sliders value uh, source slider dot value we are going to keep that value here in the source object okay so we have defined that properly property properly let's review what did we do uh, slider is ex exposing the value automatically and the box view we added two properties binding context which defines that source slider this object is the what uh, i'm going to read the values from and which property i'm going to read that we have defined here with the binding so now let's run this project see as we are moving the slider the height of box box view is changing because they both are connected the data is binded between them now let's look back and see uh, if we can make some changes and make it more fun so the maximum value I'm going to change the maximum value of the slider to 500 and if we run it now because even though you have the same slider width but it has more array of values so now I can see <laughs> we can uh, change the height in a more fun way so now i also want to write display uh, the, the display the slider value also and keep that changing also so i'm going to add a label and text of that that label will be coming from that slider so binding the path will be here the value again and let's run it now so now slider is still the source but we have I did miss one uh, 
right exclamation mark and let's run it again so source slider is still the source but we have two targets uh, there are two different properties which are receiving these values oh boom we don't see our uh, label property here because can anyone guess why <laughs> because we did not define the data binding context so that's our binding context it doesn't know which object i should be reading the value from So let's run it now. See, so the minimum value is zero and the maximum value if I move it to the right is 500. But when you move, those things change. Data binding is a very amazing concept. Uh, one of the core concept which is required, required throughout the entire programming for uh, uh, mobile app development. Another uh, interesting part is that we can define these both bindings in one line also. So instead of defining the binding context as a separate property, we can define that in with the binding also. So now binding has another property called source. And now we run the solution it will give you the same same output so instead of defining binding context and uh, the binding in a different line we can define them together also so that's it uh, in the next videos we'll see how can we perform the data binding with the, the objects or uh, with the list items or the backend and we will also talk about MVVM patterns. Thank you. Have a nice day.